grab that. Uh oh. I can't do anything. Everything's going white. Oh dear. Is this is this is the we're going into the spirit world to fight him, aren't we? Can I? I don't think I can. But I've got the others. Can I summon the spirit of Barry? I can't summon the spirit of Barry. Uh, I can use the less to my restore health potions. Uh, oh, I have a fortify health. That might also be useful. Oh, think about blocking. Blocking is apparently useful. Oh, he's, he's just in a, he's just basically an Aurora, isn't he? He's a big, horrible Aurora, and he's doing a lot of damage to me. He's probably going to kill me brutally. Need to be aware of that. Horrible, brutal deaths. Duck in, duck out, duck in. Duck out, duck in! Oh, I blocked that. And I run out of strength. Why do I have 365? Oh, his sword is going to be flipping out of the innit. Right, so we're going to have to we're going to have to put his burden on. That's still not enough. Oh my goodness, do I have a fortify strength spell? No, I don't. Oh, I have fortify endurance. That would probably be useful. How much am I out, boy? Not by much. We will drop the glass bow and the arrows. Not all of them, I don't think. Oh, this is not what I was expecting would happen. I've leveled. I wasn't paying attention. When did that happen? No, nope. I've just got to. My blood scale is increasing because I. Oh my goodness, my health. Right, if I switch to. Uh, no, 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 no. Major wounds. I probably need like critical wounds or something. We do that. Go here. We grab some of the restore health potions. Dodge around him. Run. Ah, I thought I dodged that. He's voiced by the same guy who did the prophet. Whee! Where am I going? Uh. What's that? That's the Imperial City! Or not. I would have liked if I heard that final speech. It probably would have sounded a lot better than it. There's the uh, there's the original Divine Crusader, Palinor White, Strike taking on Umadil. But we finally beat him. Right, so let's, uh, let's put all our stuff back. Take them all again and re-equip them all. 
of how awesome we now are. And the re fully recharged sword. We now have a real sword as well, which is two-handed, so it's not particularly useful for us, but yeah, we beat you, Marill. I, I thought we would have died several times in there. But we did it. Oh, that was a thought. Oh, no, no, I'm going to have a thought. I'm, Lord I, Crusader, how can this be? You, you're you alive. It's a miracle. I heard voices in the Undercroft, and I came to investigate. I just had a thought. You vanished, Shh. We searched further into the ruin and found you next to Umaro's corpse. You had no wounds on your body, but you were dead. I saw it with my own eyes. You did not draw breath. That'd be the blessing of Talos taking us to... to rest in the undercroft. We kept your death a secret. We feared what would happen if our enemies thought you were dead. This is... Th my thought was, we plummeted towards the Imperial City, right? What happens to all the arrows I dropped? Uh, uh oh. Uh, even death cannot stop the crusader. No, the wonders of the nine are many. Indeed, they are. We knew you had succeeded in destroying Umeril's physical form, but it seemed that you had met the same fate as Pelinor Whitestrand. Was Umeril destroyed? Don't crash. I have severed his very soul. Then he is destroyed. We've won. And you're alive. I have to tell the others. Yay. So, yes, we're in deep trouble. Um, I'm guessing with the Imperial City, with those arrows we dropped. Of course, that was a spiritual plane, so it may not have been an at the actual Imperial City underneath us. Hello, everyone. I'm alive. Everyone? Everyone. Hmm. Let's, uh, see what's going on out here. Knights of the Nine, hear me. Today we have witnessed undeniable proof of the strength and the might of the gods we serve. Slain in battle with the dread Umaro by the grace and mercy of the Nine. The Crusader lives again. I, I didn't die. How can this be, you ask? What of our foe? What has become of Umaro the Unfeathered? He's dead. Umaro has been slain by the Crusader. His very spirit cast into the void and destroyed for all eternity. He will never rise again. Yeah. Let us give thanks to the Nine. By their power... The Crusader has rid the world of Umeril forever! Forever! Hail the Lord Crusader! By the Hail, 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 Hail the, the Lord Crusader! Crusader. Has arisen. Hail Lord Crusader! Greetings, Sir Knight. Hello. Greetings, Sir Knight. Greetings. I would shake hands, but I'm now over encumbered. Where are you going? Assuming he's going into the, uh, the chapel. So we should probably pray. To thank the nine for our victory by pressing the correct button to enter. Stupid, stupid Skyrim. Can we pray here? I hope so. Rejoice through faith, your afflictions are banished. So we've prayed. My afflictions are all gone, including apparently being dead. Which is, uh, is a bit surprising that they thought I was dead. But. So, oh yeah, well they said they brought the body, so of course. My spirit would have returned at that point. Sir Knight, I would speak with you. Hail, Sir Knight. You seem more serious than usual. Is there something to that? Blessings of the Nine upon you, my friend. Greetings, Sir Knight. <laughs> Are you serious? May you be blessed. Pretty darn serious. Fedret. So, um, as I said... We're going to take a wee bit of a break, and we'll uh, we'll come back another time and see uh, what happens next to uh, uh, Sir Julian Dracius, a divine crusader, slayer of Umeril. Uh But I'm going to cut to the credits and do a little rambly wrap-up thing. So, yes.
So, uh, Oblivion. Yes, enjoyable. Um, variety of mods going on. I, I think... I will... I think Knights of the Nine being an expansion kind of made me think that this might go on a little longer. I was expecting this to be a let's play that might go in, go on into the final quarter of the year, and yet here we are, like summer. Well, allegedly it's summer in in Britain. I I don't I don't think the weather in Britain knows what summer is, but um, I I I didn't like the dungeons. A lot of the dungeons are wiggly, windy things. I wasn't a particular fan of them. I did like this, this last one, the last, because it... I think because it was the final one, they probably, they may have put more work into it, or... I think because it had... There was a story to it, and a story as to what you were fighting, so it made sense that there were things in the way, but there was some where it's just... You go in and there's these creatures! Ah! Um... That didn't necessarily fit the the plot. Um, I I did quite enjoy the Mages Guild recommendation stuff because they were all kind of various, diff very different things, and you were wandering around all over the map. But I don't know. I I, I didn't do Wellspring Cave, um, which may have hmm, maybe it was a bad thing. Maybe I should have done it. But uh, I think as soon as it came to something like that. It became a cho It started becoming more of a choice between, do I continue Night to the Nine, which is something I want to do, and I'm I, I'm looking forward to doing each part, or do I go and do. Uh, do I do this this thing for the Mages Guild? And I think the first time I was thinking of doing it, um, I can't remember what happened. I think I was planning on heading back. That was it. I was heading round and then up to Shaden Hall, but then. The Knights of the Nine plot interrupted. Go to the Priory of the Go back to the Priory of the Nine. So I did. And then when I went there again, coming south from Shadenhall to go around, uh Alan Zavidius attacked me and was like, Oh, I've hurt I've I've got Itius Hain. And I was like, okay, maybe I should um check up on him, see if he's alright. Hello, Sean Bean. Uh Terence Stamp. I know Patrick Stewart's the Emperor and Sean Bean's Martin. Who's Terence Stamp? I don't know who Linda Carter is at all, but which care I don't think I don't think I heard Terence Stamp. Oh. Yeah. That's a side that, that's a side thing. Um Yeah, so I feel kinda of bad for that, but then it's kinda of like I would have been doing another dungeon. I'm not a huge fan of, of I, I I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the meandering round. I enjoyed the um the the pilgrimage bit with the when we were doing the recommendations, when we were just Traversing around, uh, visiting all the cities, and seeing ev and seeing uh, the world, unless the game crashed. Um, I don't know if it crashes because it crashes, or if it's crashing because it's um, it's modded. Um, like having the unique landscapes and the better cities, they're probably quite intensive because I think they're they're probably quite big. Relatively relative to the game, so well relative to other mods certainly. So maybe that's it. Um, I I do like the Knights of the Nine questline. I like the story. I, I I love knights. What can I say? My favourite um, legends have always been King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. I have the new um not the new well relatively new. I mean the original came out was it thirteenth well fourteenth was it thirteen fourteen hundreds. Um, Thomas Mallory, uh, Mort de, uh, La Mort de Dothur. Um You got the um, Sword in the Stone by White, I think it was. Can't remember his first name. It's a bit naff. Um, I'm starting to read La Mort de Dothur. It's quite. It, it, you see, you're reading, reading it. It's like ah, oh, I, I, I recognise bits of it. Some bits slightly different have been tweaked in retellings. Um, and the Knights of the Nine did give me that kind of feeling. We're going out, finding these relics, doing some good, doing some quests. Um, there didn't seem to be too much kind of... I know like when you're searching for relics, it's kind of a giant fetch quest, but it didn't feel like that. It felt, to me, like we, 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 we need to find all, all... We need to find all these things. They're really, really important. Whereas, to me, a fetch quest is more kind of... 
this is a bit of busy work so that other people can do stuff. Um, what else should I be speaking about? I enjoyed the quest line. Uh, the Mages Guild, the, the, the opening bit was good. I did, I did, yeah, as I said, I enjoyed the recommendations. All, they're all, because they're all different things. And they're all meandering around, running around, doing nonsense. Um, I, I'm intrigued by the dark forest that was added in Unique Landscapes. Uh, we went through it. There's a little village inside. That'd be interesting to find out what happened there. Uh, are the, oh, the Better Cities mod uh, quest line with the vampire and the guy in Skingrad. I think that's a problem in this game. I've not noticed it in Skyrim yet. But I, I've not noticed it in Skyrim. Uh, I think, was there a... Were there other times in Oblivion in the in the main in the in actual quest lines where there's kind of an expectation that you're gonna just that your character knows something and they they don't or they they've got the right to do something that they don't because they're the protagonist. Uh, I don't think I can't think of it. Nothing else kind of jumps to mind where it's like you should go and do this. Why? B because it's the next step of the quest line, but it doesn't make any sense to do that. I got that. So I got a sense of that from that, but it's a mod, and they've they've added so many other things. So th there is a lot in here, um, in the game and in the mod, in in the various mods. Pardon me. Um. Yes, <laughs> I'm just trying to think of things to say. Um. I think it's quite interesting to know. I think. It's because I, I wanted to do Knights of the um, Knights of the Nine. My character has ended up being a bit more of a kind of knighty paladiny kind of guy with a bit of magic ability rather than a mage who happens to be doing the knights stuff. Um, yes. Looks like the credits have wrapped up. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm going to take a wee bit of a break. Not sure when I'll come back. Uh, but we'll do uh, Knights of the Nine Revelation, and maybe, just maybe, we will finally make it into Wellspring Caves to do uh, the next part of the Mage's Guild quest. Uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything else after that with Julian, although part of me's tempted, once I've finished Julian, with Julian's story, doing um, all this, maybe coming back a a, to a, do a third time, do it a third time with a second character, who would be who would do the main quest. I I don't know. Uh, I will think about that uh, when we come to that. So yes, we finished Knights of the Nine. I thought it would be. I bottom me thought it'd be longer. I know I'd be struggling, but uh, here we are. So yes. Uh, thanks for watching, and thanks for uh, joining me through the Knights of the Nine. Thanks for watching, everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs>